Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. Listen to me. Learn as much as you can. You'll never regret it. In this lesson, we're going to look at the imperative mood. So stay tuned. Okay, right. The imperative mood. Exactly. Is a mood. It's not a tense. So we use it in two ways. In positive sentences, and we need the base of the verb plus the object. And in negative sentences, we need do not, don't, plus the base of the verb and the object. So when do we use this? We use it for giving direct orders. So open the door, close the window, etc, etc. We also use it for giving instructions. So you're lost and you want to get somewhere, you ask somebody and they answer back to you. Go straight and turn right is an instruction. The third one is for offers. I have a guest and I tell them, have a piece of cake, help yourself. The fourth one, signs and notices. So, pull, push, open, etc. Number five, and here we're getting a little bit more complicated, giving friendly advice, usually used with don'ts, but not always. The example here is, don't leave me. This is imperative. Or, be sensible without don't. The sixth one is for giving explanations. Consider you may arrive late. Consider would be the imperative. Take, imperative, for example, you are going out. The seventh one, appealing to somebody to do something. Come quickly, hurry up. And the eighth one, when being polite, add do. Do study hard. Do sit down, please. Do watch my lessons. Now I'm going to erase this and I'm going to show you how to use let with the imperative mood. Right, so we're back with let. Now, in the first situation, we give orders or instructions. So, for example, let the teacher check on that. Let would be the verb. Then the teacher is the object. Check on would be the verb, also that. In the second situation, making suggestions. And in this case, we add us, which is the object. Sometimes we like to contract it with apostrophe s. Just like my example. Let's meet at John's. Let is the verb. Us, apostrophe s, is the object. Then the verb again, meet at John's. A John's means a John's house. The third situation would be use me, use me when offering to do something. For example, let me, me is the object, let me take a look at that. I can say to, ex to a student, for example, let me take a look at that, at their homework. The fourth situation, expressing wish, informal situations. Let the ceremony begin. So this is an announcement and it's a formal situation. Let would be the verb, the ceremony would be the object and begin would be the verb again. So now, let's recap. So in this lesson, we took a look at the imperative mood. When do we use it? For giving advice, for example, for giving instructions, to uh, order somebody to do something, etc. I also talked about let, and I showed you four ways on how to use it. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all your comments. Don't forget to share the lesson if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And uh, if you want to write your own example under this video, please do so. 
Have a great day and see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.